Hey guys, welcome to the 400th episode of Wrestling Figure Wednesday. This may not be exactly the 400th, but it is numbered 400, so we are going to celebrate it that way, as there are probably a lot more extra episodes that would make this farther than 400, but regardless, we are going to celebrate it as if it is, so thank you for supporting me through 400 episodes. Today I'm going to review a very special figure made for me by the very talented friend of mine, BEW Animations. Check out his fantastic custom work on Instagram. He also does animation on YouTube and stuff as well, so be sure to check it out. Of course, uh, Mattel just recently revealed they will be making this figure, although I think this one looks fantastic, obviously, and it is a little bit more accurate than the one Mattel is releasing, as the Mattel one coming has uh, two outfits in one, while this one is simply just this outfit. So this attire is a little bit more accurate, but still looks fantastic. I uh, gave him a crutch from Ringside Collectibles and a custom Blackheart shirt from Threadhead Custom Clothing. You can get all your custom clothing shirts from them on uh, Facebook. And they have a website as well, so check that out in the description below. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at this thing of beauty. So. BEW went all out on this for me. I didn't even ask him to go up as far out as he did, but he really wanted to go above and beyond for me, and I really appreciate that. And I'm hoping to do a picture with it very soon. I just need the tire that uh, Johnny Gargano wore um, to recreate it. So I'll do that eventually, I'm sure. But anyway, let's take a look at this beautiful figure. So look at this head scan. So it is the uh, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, the Elite head scan that I didn't think really looked like him. But BEW sculpted his entire big bushy beard for him. Painted it so well, sculpted it so well that it looks so real. And uh, he just painted skin tone and everything on him to the point he looks much more realistic than a lot of the detail Mattel puts into the figures is. He actually painted like the you know, like the tones of your skin, so to speak. So you could see like the red spots and the blood, so to speak, where it's uh, showing, so to speak, under your skin a little bit more in areas than others. So he looks very red, like he's in the middle of a match sort of thing. And uh, I love it. Just the detailing is absolutely amazing. Just look at that. So it's all sculpted. It's got his cloth black heart shirt, as I said. It's from Threadhead Custom Clothing. You can unbelt her right here. So I just gave BEW the uh, TJ Perkins figure as I didn't really care if his uh, body wasn't like super thick like he is now as this is literally just the whole base of TJ Perkins as it has the pants and this pants mold is actually pretty hard to come by because TJ is the only one I believe that has it so far. Uh, but you can see BEW painted on his chest hair, even his little belly button hair there, hair on his forearms and then of course his camo pants so his pants were different colored in uh, the segment with Johnny Gargano but I uh, gave BEW reference photos of uh, Tommaso from uh, I just believe promotional pictures that were on WWE's website at one point in similar attire so that's what he based it on but you can see all the cool camo detail going around on it. He even painted his knee brace with like the leopardish kind of designs on it. I don't remember exactly what it looked like, uh, but this is really pretty freaking close to it. So it's amazing, like I said, all the detail he put into this just for me. So I'm very, very excited. It's a work of art, honestly. I mean, all of his stuff is, but this one he just went so above and beyond for me. And I really, really appreciate that, of course. And then of course he has his black shoes and his pants were, uh, I don't know if they were tucked in like this, but they were right at the edge of his shoes. While the Mattel one has full boots, which he didn't have on when he wore this outfit. But it's also a wrestling attire figure, so that is why they did what they did. So it's a two-in-one. But this is absolutely amazing. Just such a work of art as it looks literally just like him with all the painted apps and detail and everything that he went above and beyond for for me. So if you ever want amazing work or just want to see his amazing work, be sure to check him out on Instagram. And of course, watch his animations. I believe those are coming to an end. Uh, but this figure is absolutely beautiful. Definitely one of my favorites that he has ever done 
for me as you have seen some over the years uh, from him as well because he's done a lot for me which I'm really grateful for but anyway uh, yeah so this is the 400th episode it's absolutely insane to think I have over 400 figures just in review videos so that added to everything else I already have is kind of scary to me but nonetheless I'm very excited you guys have stuck around this long so thank you so much uh, be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future reviews you would like to see me do and I'll see you soon thanks Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com.